Okay guys, we got this uh, 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland here. And the customer complains that when you put it in reverse, it just says, check entire surroundings, and that's all it does. And then that message goes away and nothing. They said occasionally the camera will show up, but most of the time it doesn't. So we're gonna do some checks on this and we'll look at a diagram. We'll go from there and see if we can prove what the, what's wrong with this car. So here's our diagram. This is the backup camera factory diagram from all data. We've got a fuse, comes down here and feeds the license plate assembly and rear camera. So if you come down here, we have our two grounds right here. We have our camera signal, our camera return. I believe both of these are used for video. And then our shielding wire. And that's it, because uh, it must get power from this assembly. So I'm gonna get the back apart and then we're gonna go after this camera and we'll see if it works. Because our license plate lights do work, our handles work. I had tested all them. So we need to check this camera. Guys, so I got this Zeus out here. Um, I checked powers and grounds up here. Our pink is power, black is ground. Let me show you um, what happens here. We've got a lot going on. Um, so let me turn this car on. And also, by the way, there was no codes for the camera or anything, so I did a full system scan. So we'll put it in reverse. We'll let this boot up. So I have my lab scope set up here. We're on a two volt scale. Peak detects on. We're at one millisecond. People ask me to like show what my time base and stuff was. And we have nothing on here. So our lab scope is connected right here to this, which is our signal wire. And we have nothing right now. So what I did was let me connect these back up. So you can see our screen still black. So we're gonna connect my ground up right here. These are Phillips probes. They put really, really tiny piercings in the wire. Really tiny holes. So we got that connected up. Here's our signal now. And if you look, our camera's showing up up there on the screen. See that? So we got a pattern up there on the screen. And what we're going off of is right here is this camera. So like you can see the pattern changing on the scope. I move this around. And if I move the camera around, you can see up there on the screen, I'm moving around back here. So we have a bad camera because the, ca the other camera is still connected, but we get no signal from it. Um, so how this is connected is I'm using the video. Uh, well, actually here we got power. A red wire is going to power which is coming up to this pink wire right here, pink and yellow. Our black wire is coming up to ground right here. So if we follow this down, it goes to ground. And you'll see this will be clipped right on the ground right here. And then for our video, I have this cable right here. I cut the end off. So we have a black, a yellow, and the red's not used because the red's just like a trigger if you want to use it for like reverse lights. So yellow's going into this green one. Right here, this one, which comes up and it's clipped on the, our yellow wire right here, which comes up to our green and brown. And then our green and orange comes down, goes into this green one, and then that goes into our black right there for our shielding. Or I mean our signal return. I think it's the return. And that's it. So we got 100% a bad backup camera because like we can unplug this right here. This goes to our backup camera and it doesn't change our video up there. Um, we can even disconnect like our power and you see the screen's still black and then this goes black. So like if we plug the camera in, if we go to plug it in, um, right when it makes contact, the screen will flicker up there. I don't know if we see anything on here. We can try to do like I mean, a trigger. Let's 
to. Why is this whole thing moving? That's why. Let's see if we plug this in, if it does anything. Oh, there we go. We get a momentary spike. You see that? This is just going in and out with this. And when I do that, you'll see the screen up there. A little flicker. Sometimes the screen will go all white for like a split second. It may not go all white because I got this other stuff plugged in. But you do see the momentary spike. Oops, there you go. So like I said, if we connect this back up, connect our power wire back up, you will see that this will instantly turn on on here. And then our screen up there turns on. So it needs a bit, it needs a new backup camera. So we just checked our powers and grounds because we powered this camera up. So I hope you guys like this one. It's quick. If I get if I get a new camera, I'll show you guys the fix. See you guys later. Okay guys. So we got a new camera put in. Here's the new camera. See it right there? That's the new camera. And uh, the old camera right there. Let's see if this works. I think it should work. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. It works. There we go. So I'm gonna get this all put back together and then we'll test it. Okay guys, my phone died. Um, so I didn't get the port ending of this, so we'll get it right now. So I put it in reverse. Oh, look at that. Let me see if I can get rid of the glare on the phone. Park assist is on. Oh, is the e-brake on? on look at that let's go forward let's see. I don't know if it has to learn the steering angle or if this thing doesn't Guess the park lines don't move. I thought maybe they would move, but some cars they don't move. So yeah. Hope you guys like this one. I'm just glad everything worked. Got to show you guys how to bypass it. And use a aftermarket camera just to see if it's working or not. See you guys later.